Joining us now in an exclusive interview is Philip Morris International CEO, Yachik Olchik. It's great to have you back on, Yachik. So what, what is the story here? Where, where's, the, where's the disappointment coming from? Good morning. I mean, we deliver, you know, versus our own expectations, pretty good uh, quarter, but we knew it's going to be the, you know, the weakest uh, quarter in the year. Uh, having, you know, delivered that quarter, we still look very, you know, confident on the full year results, as you just said. I mean, we're looking at the seven to eight and a half percent revenue growth and uh, seven to nine percent earnings per share growth. So it's a pretty pretty solid growth. The most important thing for us is that the smoke-free products being heated tobacco products, so recently uh, acquired, you know, Swedish match and the nicotine pouches are having a very strong growth this quarter. And I believe that's going to continue through this year. We added 900,000, you know, users to, to ICOS franchise. So all of the leading mm -hmm. indicators giving us the confidence for the full year. So everybody wants to see you transform into a smokeless company, which you have said that you aim to do. Now, about 35% of revenues are smoke-free, including that Icos brand, which the market is focused on. You still think you can get to 50% by what, 2025? Is that on track? And when do you get to 100%? That's on, that's on track. I mean, a 35% is another, you know, important milestones, which we, you know, deliver this year, uh, this quarter. And we are two years to, to, to go to, to 2025. I think a 50% is absolutely achievable. But what is more important for us is what's going to happen after 2025. I mean, where is the where is the date when we can achieve a 75%, 80% and ultimately completely leave the you know, combustible smoking behind us? So this is, is very date? exciting. <laughs> Well, we will talk about this. We we'll have investors day in September later this year, but I think that uh, you know my my eyes and I want the horizon. Where is the seventy five percent going to come true? Um, we've seen uh, some fairly large settlements with Jewel uh, in the last uh, couple of months. Do you think their marketing has been uh, disabled, so to speak? Or do, you, do you do you think about them much as a competitive force? Uh, to look at that electronic cigarettes category had its own uh, challenges, right? It's, uh, you know, is all the product is that, uh, you know, that part of the industry is uh, not really fully, you know, consolidated. You have a number of players, uh, I mean, a different practices, etc. It's difficult for, you know, me to, you know, to, 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 to speak about this. We focus on a hit not burn, we focus on the pouches. I think a responsible marketing is the very important component of the sustainable growth. Uh, the, the category is very important, offers a tremendous opportunity for the smokers, but have to be executed with the very high degree of the responsibility. So when, when you talk to I mean, when you think very big picture over mo many years, I mean, it really is the whole industry is an amazing case study in the innovators dilemma. We had this amazing market for decades uh, and then came along this new technology. When you think about the moment where you made that pivot and 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 sort of calculated the costs and benefits what what are the key lessons for you i mean a key lessons is that you know if you do really believe that there is a you know that there is a problem and you know you put the resources behind the science technology aligned all your stakeholders internal external you can really even achieve the things which you know 10 years ago would uh, would be unheard of like can philip morris one day leave a you know, smoking, you leave a cigarettes. I think all of these things are doable. And actually, I believe you can find the equilibrium where you could serve better your consumers, your customers, your smokers. You can, you know, uh, generate the net positive impact on the, to the public. And you serve also uh, during these transformations very well at your investors, your, you know, for, for financial stakeholders. And I think Philip Morris International is actually a perfect... Uh, a perfect case uh, to, for such a transformation. I mean, we are seven years in the in the more than seven years in the transformations. We spend uh, more than a ten billion dollars behind the products, behind the commercialization of these products, but still very generously rewarding uh, investors through the you know continued dividend growth. And I believe that's gonna remain the, what the investors will see about the Philip Morris. You can do transformations can be can be profitable uh, 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 to, to, to a positive, net positive to everyone around.